One, you can feel like shit and still get it done. Two, just because you're working does not mean it counts. And most importantly, number three, hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about some of the, fun. today, today we're gonna talk about three common misconceptions that super successful entrepreneurs know about that you don't. Number one, you can feel like shit and still get it done. That one's kind of self-explanatory, but we're going to talk about it anyway. Just because you aren't enjoying your situation, you are very uncomfortable, you're overwhelmed, you're confused, you're scared, whatever. Those are all just emotions that are trying to stop you from doing the thing. Where are they rooted? They're rooted from all of these systems in the back of your head that have been programmed into you to keep you alive. Yes, it is one of those videos. The easy thing to do. Sorry, well, it's not gonna be easy, but the one thing that the successful entrepreneurs have in common is that even when it sucks, even when the sky is falling, even when they wanna break down and crying, they still show up and do the thing. If they're sick, if they're broken, if they feel like absolute trash, they will show up and do the thing. Why? Because they want what it comes with. That is the reason. If you want what it comes with, then do like them. If you do the work, you will get the thing. It is a simple one plus one equals two. If you do the work, then you get the thing. That simple. Now the hard part is doing the thing. It's doing the work because when you don't feel good, you don't want to do anything. But you know what I found out? Oh buddy, if you feel like trash and you're going to feel like trash anyway, doing something else, then you can feel like trash and do the thing that will yield the good result. Personal standpoint, is it easy? No, but if it was easy, it wouldn't be worth it. And if it wasn't worth it, then you wouldn't do it. The quicker you get over that muscle, or sorry, the quicker you flex that muscle, the faster you reinforce it for yourself, and then you can do it easier. That's why muscles are beautiful. Yes, muscles are beautiful because you have to earn them. It doesn't matter how much money you have on the planet. If you don't put in the work, you don't get the thing. Everybody that has muscles has earned them. And if they didn't earn them, you can tell that they aren't real, plain and simple. Which brings us to our next point. Just because you're working does not mean that it counts. What does that mean, Matthew? I'm glad you asked. So this was something that I discovered over the past multiple days. I was very productive in doing things that would move the needle and get me from point A to point B where I wanted to be. And I was very productive doing things that did not move the needle and did not get me closer from where I am to where I want it to be. It just felt like I was being productive and that is one of the biggest traps that people tend to fall into. And the reason why I say this is because ooh, we like to default to whatever the lesser thing is. So I'm gonna drop some knowledge on you really quick. Notice, if you've ever had to do some big looming task, but then you have all these little tiny other tasks that you also have to do. It's easier to do those little tasks because you'll still feel productive than to do the big thing that is holding you back that you know you have to get to anyway. It is a hole. Oh, it is the biggest pitfall ever. Notice when you start doing the dishes, not when you have nothing better to do because you would rather be doing other things, but when you have that project that you should be working on or you have that video you need to post, or if you have that, insert whatever the big thing the paper the, the the essay the whatever it's easier to work on everything else under the sun than the thing that is important that would actually yield the results that you need you have to rip the band-aid off you must you must rip the band-aid off do the thing prioritize that thing and do nothing else but that thing it's easier said than done it won't get done doing anything how would I even get you through this? One of the things that I have found that has helped me in identifying when I'm doing this is asking myself, am I productivity masturbating? That's a very large two words. Yes, it is, but it's still a thing. Am I actually being productive or am I just thinking that I am? Am I doing the thing that is like looming over me or am I not? It is that simple. If you feel like you don't know what that thing that you should be doing is, make a mind map. Use Miro. Miro, this is not sponsored or anything, but I use Miro all the time. Free tier. It's great. Just go in there. Start writing down the things that you have to do and then just piece them together in the order of when they need to get done and then just work through it and only focus on the thing that's in front of you. When you don't prioritize the thing, 
although it feels good, you are just as well off as if you did nothing at all. It feels good. It feels like you did something you were supposed to do, but those were also menial tasks that have been sitting there for a while, probably because they're less important. If you want to see results, do the thing, and the thing is the looming project. Just work on it. In fact, promise yourself you'll work on it for five minutes. Starting momentum is a thing. When you work on it for five minutes, you won't stop after five minutes. Or if you do, promise yourself another five minutes, and then another five minutes, until it catches on. It will catch on. Because once you start, like, it's called momentum for a reason. It's hard to stop once you get going. And that goes for just about anything. Whether you're doing the bad thing or the good thing. The starting is the hardest part. Get past that and you win. And the final thing. Thank you. And you're a real one if you made it this far. The final thing. I forgot the final thing. <sighs> if you feel like you haven't done enough, you're probably right. You haven't done enough. And that's okay. Because you only lose if you stop doing and you might be like oh well that's pretty simple but if you whether you sprint towards it or whether you walk towards it or whether you crawl towards it on a long enough time horizon you will have moved one mile it doesn't matter you only don't make it that one mile if you stop or start moving backwards that's how it works and bonus point if you're in the moment and you're concerned about doing a good job or I would even say, if you feel bad, like you're not doing enough, I think that's a superpower. And the reason why I think that's a superpower is because when have you ever known anyone who did not care about the thing they're working on that made something worthwhile? Me neither. So if you care about it, and if you're concerned that you haven't been doing enough, you're probably right. But that also probably means that you're gonna be more successful. So those are my three tips. If you haven't joined my school community, it's free and it's just for you to be surrounded by other people that are trying to be successful, just like you are. My name is Matthew Holland and my goal is to teach you all the tested tips and tricks to actually be successful and get what you want in life. Thank you for joining me. Once again, it's time for me to video edit. I'll see you on the next one.